Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles. And I'm gonna show you how to test the coil on your motorcycle, specifically big twins from 05 back to 1970 and Sportsters from 07 to 84. You late model guys, it's gonna be a different procedure than this. But for everybody else, it's gonna take a multimeter and access to your coil. You don't wanna have your bike running to do this. I know there's some of the old school guys out there that would just take the plug wire off with the plug, press it up against the side of the motor when the bike was running, and if you got shocked horrifically bad, that would tell you if your cylinder was firing. There's a better way to do that, a little more specific way to tell you if your coil has a failure. And some of those signs up front are gonna be, maybe just the bike went from starting one day to not starting, maybe it's running rough, maybe it's running on one cylinder. These are all things that could be caused from a faulty coil. So the first thing we need to do is access our coil. With this bike, it's really simple. It's right here out in our face, which is nice. For a lot of sportsters, it's gonna be up underneath here. And for a lot of bikes, it'll actually back here on the side. Some of the Dynas and Softtails, Twin Cams and Evos alike will have it mounted on the side. And we're basically just going to unplug everything. Unplug your spark plug wires, and then the leads going to the coil, this kind just plugs in. If you have the kind that are held on there with a the little nut, you're gonna need to take those off. If you have a single fire ignition on your bike. Uh, we'll talk about that and I'll get to that while we're in here testing this coil. You wanna make sure your, your multimeter is in the ohm setting at the very lowest ohm setting. This is a stock coil, so it should be about three ohms. There are bikes that have a five ohm coil, same procedure. Just check your manual to make sure which one you have. More than likely, you probably have a three ohm coil. So when we check this, we want it to read at least three ohms. If it's underneath that, we know we probably have a problem. So we're gonna test our coil in two different places. For the first one, we're gonna need our little inputs right here. Doesn't matter which side or which lead we use on it. And this coil is good. It's reading about three and a half ohms, so we know we're good there. Now we're gonna test where the plug wires actually plug into this coil. For that, you're gonna need to turn your ohm setting up so it'll read at least 10,000 ohms. Just reach deep enough in there so you touch the metal contacts. And again, we're at 11,000 ohms there. If this was lower than 10,000, we would know we have a problem here with this coil but it's good. So for the single fire coil, you're going to want to put one of your leads on the middle, which is the power, and one of your leads on the outside, which is the trigger, and that'll give us our ohm reading. And then you'll want to do the same thing to the other side. Put one in the middle, one on the other side, and that'll give us our ohm reading. And if one side is bad, the coil is bad. A much easier way of testing your coil than electrocuting yourself on the side of your engine. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment. And go work on those motorcycles.